Previously on Trio. Did you hear that? That's Little bien. Last time on Trio, we went back in the water with two engines and two rudders. Salter has got two motors. Salter has got two motors. The captain's not so old yet. And 12 year old Cole went up the mast to repair a chafed halyard. And he's just doing awesome. <laughs> Super proud. This time at Trio, we're swimming with sharks, giant whale sharks at Isla Mujeres. So come join us on another epic adventure with the crew of Salt Air 3. Just offshore, north of Isla Mujeres, little tuna, a small tuna species, produce trillions of eggs each spawning season. And that's when the whale sharks come to Isla Mujeres to feed. They literally swim around for hours vacuuming up the little tuna eggs. Before we said goodbye to sail panting and sandy feet, we were lucky enough to hire a boat and a guide to take us out to see these beautiful, gentle giants, where we got in the water, up close and personal, with these huge fish. Cole and I were one of the first to get into the water. We were literally two meters away from this amazing giant fish. But that's close enough for me and for the guides. The guides and the government are very strict about the behavior of visitors at this special place. That's our guide, Javier. As he swims up next to it, you can see just how big these giant fish really are. And yes, I said fish. Him better go and Google it. This is what's known as bottling. When the whale shark goes vertical, it's thought that the excess air the fish is inhaling escapes from their bodies easier. They don't do it often because they can't eat as much food, so it's an awesome opportunity to see them up close as they stop to bottle. Today there are at least 50 whale sharks everywhere and all around us. To say we are totally amazed and excited, <laughs> well, <laughs> that's an understatement.
Well, that was an epic day, and we ended it in one of the beautiful beaches nearby. The guide even prepared a snack of conch ceviche for us all. The hardest part of the whole day was knowing that we were all saying goodbye in just a few days. The friends you make out here in this big blue sea are as epic as the adventures you have, and the goodbyes are equally as tough. One constant in life is change, and sadly, we were all getting close to a big one. Sail pending and sandy feet said goodbye just days later. Weeks later, back on Saltair 3, it was time for another engine test. Before venturing too far away from Isla Mujeres and David the mechanic, we wanted to be sure everything was working just as it was supposed to be. It's lovely out here today. So, both, we've been going for over an hour now, and both engines seem to be running great. We got kind of lumpy, so we threw out the jib. There's a little island up here, straight ahead, less than two miles away, that we're going to go on. over top of the boat everything's wet now wow how you doing gang Shadrawi. This is where we've been shopping to get our groceries. And we got scooters, and you can all <laughs> we get we got scooters to get around it. But there's always a cab that you can catch when you're coming in. There's a sign, Shadrawi. I think we can get one more in here. Necesito dos. What? Only one can fit. Solo uno. Okay, está bien. All right, and then we got we had turkey last night, so Cole and I grabbed some buns, and we're gonna go have turkey sandwiches tonight. It's going to be our dinner. Good. All right, I need to help pack up my stuff. Talk to you later. I should draw you in Isla Mujeres. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go before I can even come out because I'll get more momentum. Something's wrong with my bike. Let's see what's going on here. No, it's been I wonder I'm going so slow. The brakes are stuck and not coming off. Hmm. I guess I'm going to have to do some quick work. Look, you don't even have to wear shoes when you come shopping at this grocery store. And a lot of people shop in, uh, in bikinis. It's just that kind of place. Okay, let's roll. We're going to take the quiet road because the busy road is just a little bit too hectic and busy for us. You know, the time spent sailing is probably less than 20%. The time spent exploring new exotic destinations, making new friends, seeing new sights and places, dealing with the challenges a sailing life brings, and doing it all together, that's what makes the three of us tick. We love sailing, but doing it together, that's what really draws us to this oh. sailing life. That's a good little tour, hey buddy? Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> oh.
Check out the swells, they're big here at the point. This is the southern tip of Isla. Right where we came in. The currents merge here, and then the wind just messes things up. It took us forever, we were down to one knot. Of course we had one engine. Beautiful in here. <laughs> awesome. Hi, big guy. I'm not here to bother you. Just come to watch Cole sail. Sit tight. It's all good. Cole! Do attack and come back this way. Cole is out sailing in an Opti. Ooh, that was a good one. Good tack. And he's got an eight-year-old and a six-year-old kid with him. And they're just ripping along. This thing's like race rigged up. Way better than the one that we used in Grada. Oh, yeah? around the post. You lose the wind in behind the boats, eh? Yeah, we do. And as soon as you get out here, you just pick up and go. Nice, he's turned in to be quite the sailor, let me tell you. You're supposed to be doing math homework. <laughs> but it's a nice recess break. All right. Well, gang, that's just about it for this episode of Trio Travels. Thanks for watching, but stay tuned for scenes from our next episode. And hey, we want to give a great big shout out to our patrons. Thanks for all your support and keeping the videos coming. You guys truly rock. And a big thanks to those of you that sent us the occasional gift through our website, triotravels.ca. We appreciate every one of you. If you want to help keep the videos coming, just click our logo. And we'll see you next time. On trio. Cheers, everybody. That's our way. We're sailing. We got the right of way. <laughs>